This is workout B of the Turbulence Training Hot Zone program. And it starts out with a really powerful superset for your upper body and your upper back. So your, upper, so your chest and your upper back. You're gonna double up actually in the first exercise by doing what I call an incline press to flat press. So you're gonna do eight repetitions incline, then eight repetitions of flat press. So you, you'll be tired out by the incline, but because the flat press you're stronger, you should be able to use the same amount of weight and get eight repetitions in both. Then you're gonna go immediately to the underhand inverted row. So this is gonna be like a real excellent upper body superset for those of you that really want that upper body muscle growth. So we're gonna start with the incline press here. So down and out with the dumbbells, up and in. Once you've done your eight repetitions, you're immediately gonna flatten the bench. And then go and finish off regular flat presses. Again, up and in, slowly lower them down and out. Up and in, down and out. After you've done that, move immediately over into the underhand inverted row to train the hot zone, the upper back. So underhand grip, body in a straight line, pull your chest up to the bar. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. So really powerful superset here. You're gonna work everything in your upper body. In the next superset, you're gonna have a really powerful exercise for the lower body. You're gonna do dumbbell step ups and you're gonna pair that with stability ball rollout. So another powerful exercise and it's really gonna work your abs hard. So you're gonna work two hot zones very intensely with this superset. So with the step ups, put one foot on the bench, hold the dumbbells at your side and use that lead leg, the hamstrings and glutes to pull yourself up and slowly lower yourself back down. So drive through the foot that's up on the bench, drive through that heel to come up and minimize the push off on the back leg. So all reps from one side, then switch over to the other side and then you're gonna go right down, stability ball on your knees here, put your hands on the ball, stretch your abs, roll out, and contract them to come back up. So stretch on the way out, contract on the way back up. You can also use the ab wheel, the infomercial gadget, as a great replacement for that exercise there. So the ab wheel or the stability ball rollout, paired with that dumbbell step up, very powerful exercises for two hot zones in your body. The third superset of workout B is optional. But if you want to build a lot of muscle and burn a lot of body fat, then you'll probably want to throw this one in because it's a great superset. Two of my favorite arm exercises, dumbbell incline curls and dumbbell line tricep extensions. And it's perfect with the chest presses and inverted rows you did at the start of the workout. But you don't have to do it because you've already hit the four hot zones of the body with the first two supersets. But if you want to, throw this in. We're gonna start with the incline dumbbell curls. So you're just sitting with a slight incline. You get a little more stretch in your biceps in this exercise. Curl the weights up, slowly lower back down. You can also do that one arm at a time. It doesn't matter how you do that. And then without rest, you're gonna go immediately into the lying tricep extension. And again, paired with that first superset of the presses and rows, your upper body is gonna get a great workout. So dumbbells right over your chest, bend your elbows, slowly bring the dumbbells back, get a little extra stretch at the bottom, and extend back up. So slowly lower down, and then drop a little bit more for a little extra stretch, and up. So after you've done that superset and that entire workout, you're gonna feel like you've had a classic bodybuilding upper body workout. But it's a great fat burning workout because we hit all our hot zones and that's all you need to do. So that third superset is optional, but it's a great workout.